What do boxers, CEOs and inventors have in common? What do they know that we don't? What gives them the edge? Semen retention, sexual transmutation. A massive amount of thinking, like truly stupendous amount of thinking has gone into sex yeah. without purpose, without procreation, without procreation, which, yeah. which is actually quite a silly action in the absence of procreation. Well, so why are you doing it? Because it makes the limbic system happy. That's why. That's why. But it's pretty absurd, really. <laughs> but I mean, this is a lot of computation has gone into how can I do more of that with <laughs> procreation not even being a factor? Can I ask you a question? Now, you don't have to answer this because it is a little bit personal. But you, uh, as a person who is, uh, are a celebrity, you kind of have to give up a little privacy occasionally. And I only ask this question, not for shock value, but for example, this goes way back in any athletic endeavor or wars. They used to say that the Romans, before they went into battle, the women could not be with the Roman soldiers before the battle had weakened them. Uh, I've heard <laughs> that's true. You've heard. Now, I'm not, as I say, I don't want to be personal, but uh, football players, they say we don't want women in training camps uh, because it weakens boxes. the same fire. With, now, same with boxers. Do you have to stay same virginal as it is before a fight? You know what I meant. Well, I, Does it in any way sap your strength? Well, we have a train. I just built a training camp in Deer Lake, Pennsylvania, about 20 miles out of Reading, mm -hmm. and it cost me about some hundred and seventy thousand dollars to complete. I have a log cabin, training quarters, big couple of bunk houses, a restaurant, and we have horses, stables, and I built all of this just to get away from my wife. In bodybuilding, you try to keep your emotions as low as you can. You want to protect yourself so nothing can get to you. When you want to be a champion, you have to be very cold. I'm quoting you, very cold. Well, okay, I have to explain to you that this means that, uh, especially the two or three months before a competition, you should keep your emotional level to a low. When you get involved, for instance, uh, two months before a competition with a woman and you fall in love and that energy falling in love takes away from your energy in the gymnasium then obviously that's gonna hurt your progress so therefore you have to again find out or ask yourself what do you want in your life do you want to fall in love do you want to have a, be married do you want to have children and go on with the everyday life like all the other millions of people do or do you want to be the one person who is the best so therefore you have to cut this off and go your road and don't go sidetracked, stay cold. And for me, my biggest obsession was women at the time. That was my biggest distraction. So guess what I did? No sex 17 months. You know how hard that is for a guy that that's like his- How old are you? How old are you? I'm 24 oh, years God, old. Oh, that's Jesus. insane. I yeah. give you credit. So I go. Now that happens and I went on a pure, mm -hmm. I'm done. Yep. Don't how, call 17 me. 17 months? 17 months. That's you, up. But, but the point is, so I went on that diet. No matter where you are right now, whatever your vice is today, if it's video games, if it's women, if it's drugs, if it's alcohol, if it's whatever you got, it's time to go on your diet and not tell nobody about it until two, three years later when you're winning, kicking everyone's ass. Then you say, here's what I did the last three years. Because mm -hmm. while you're going through it, no one cares. You're familiar with semen retention, obviously. You know, just the whole process of... Holding on to your yeah. your essence, you know. Yes. Did, did you do that a lot before your fights? Yes. Not because I thought it helped me, it's because other great fighters did it, and I wanted to be able to be like them. If they can do it and that made them great, I had to do that too. This is what I found out from the old trainers. The old trainers didn't mind if you got some pussy, but they didn't want you chasing pussy. They didn't want you all night fucking chasing pussy. Now you got to come running in the morning. You've been hanging out all night. You get an hour to sleep to go run. Right. That's what they do. You can get some pussy. Don't Dude, abuse it. So but, right, just, but just don't chase it. Yeah. Right. Chasing is worse than getting it's it. Like, That's why I be holding on. Woo! They getting hit. But like I just I just don't release all the time. Because like, you know, with boxing, like I've, I've, I've heard it a lot, like semen retention related to fighters. You know what I mean? Like, like. I've, I've heard that throughout time, like fighters, right. they hold on to their yeah, it does make, it, it, make you stronger, holds on your testosterone. I, I, I feel like it does make you angry, Mike. 
It makes you mean as a motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Word up. Two. Now, do you abstain from sex before you're working out? Is that, or does it make no difference? To be honest with you, it makes a lot of difference. <laughs> really? Yeah, I keep as far away from it as I possibly can. So no sex when you're training? Why? Uh, can't make, can't make, it's kind of hard to lift weights. It takes away from the strength. I don't know how it takes away from the strength. I don't think ladies lift weights. No? Yeah. So if you have sex, you look, like, the fighters you say you go weak in the knees. Is that true? No, you weak all over. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> and I just need the arms, legs, everything. Like, sex is sacred to me. It's spiritual unification. Like, I, like, come on, like, what man you meet that don't release? Right. What man have you met that don't release? That say, you know, my life force is so important to me that I don't release. So it's like whenever I would have a conversation with a woman about that, it's like she, oh, you know, you you get you you seeking arousal, or you seeking something that's gonna make a wow factor from this. But this is my life, and it's not because I feel like I'm better than nobody. I know the power that it give me. Like when you meet men, you can see I meet men that 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 release every day, all day, and they drained. They brain don't have the cognitive the cognitive function that my brain has. That's real. They it's just they not as strong. I'm talking about emotionally, the emotions be in total disarray because you didn't spread your energy, spread yourself too thin with all these different women, mm -hmm. you know, and our semen contains consciousness. So you place your consciousness everywhere. Do you ever release? Or you just never release? You just if 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 I need to release, your body gonna do it automatically. Your body's just gonna release. That ain't like teasing us. Like, oh, you probably so mentally. No, should be teasing what me. you do is, what you do is, it's called sexual transmutation. Like when I wake up with, they got something called morning wood. Yeah, like yeah, most yeah. Men, I don't just grab a sock and shoot it in a sock. I take that energy from that and jump straight out of the bed and put it into my workout or put it into my music or put it into something that's gonna make me greater. Like sex transmutation. You translate that sexual energy into your craft. I was I was just gonna say like a lot. one like of the a lot of people that about, get injured like when yeah, you play sports yeah. like a lot of people that get injured and stuff like that like I noticed since I've been well he got me doing Pilates but I noticed since I had been like on my yoga journey uh -huh. I ain't had no injuries and I noticed that like since, flexibility type right? yeah and I noticed that since I haven't been releasing my recovery is like that ASAP is it almost makes you god like because so, you know you go through this experience. And you gotta have that discipline. Yeah. And, and and when you do that, it's like when you talk about evolving and you talk about learning and experiencing different things, the world just open up. I went the longest for me, I went seven months celibate for real? last year. Damn. Yeah. And I felt powerful. I Turned felt you strong. Into a monster. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they laughing at me. I shared this with my team uh, a couple laughing. weeks ago. No, it's another experience, but like I'm impressed. That's some I released a couple weeks ago. <laughs> you, and look, bro, what I'm see, telling you. When you was doing that, when we was communicating, you could see it all in your skin. Your glow was right. there. And that's what uh, the woman's ovaries are attracted to. Like, they, you could walk in the room and your aura is so strong. It's called magnetism. I use that to magnetize the things that I want into my life, such as the accomplishments and goals. When I walk in a room, of course, a woman going to say, yeah, I ain't really feeling him like that. You just saying that because the Don wasn't on location. Mm. But when I'm on location, you're going to lose your mind because your body, you having a chemical reaction to my oral. You know, I'll just be direct about it. They were asking whether or not masturbation was bad. They were asking whether or not uh, masturbation with ejaculation was particularly bad. And here's my stance on this. I'm a biologist and a neuroscientist, not a psychologist. But what we know for sure is that if an individual repeatedly engages in this circuitry, let's say masturbation and pornography with increasingly um, potent forms of stimulation and a hormone called prolactin increases dramatically after ejaculation in males. What does that do? That blunts dopamine release and testosterone for a very long period of time. Which and so I've been celibate for about two months now. For two months, I have had no sexual intercourse with women, which is the longest time since I lost my virginity when I was 19 years old. I, I never thought I would consider something like this, I'm not going to lie, but the, the value of it and the benefits of it have been pretty immense. And it, it's shown me a different side to life where women are not the main priority. So I 
was doing really well on this. I was focused. I was being productive. I was smashing some work and everything. I, I did a lot. Like I've, I've made about ten thousand dollars. Not ten thousand. Probably a little bit less than that. But I've made like let's say seven thousand, maybe a bit more than that over the last two weeks or so because of the work that I did during this first period of celibacy.